Yulon True and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy with Star Trek Fleet Command. Today I want to talk about the armory. We find our armory if we look at the bottom right of our screen and click at exterior of our station and then click the station again and the armory is then there next to the R&D department. That's the thing with the two arrows. The armory is quite a nice thing because it gives us a lot of buffs when we have it. It gives us a hull health bonus, a shield health bonus and a mitigation stats bonus. To build it um, we need first of all a level of level 26 to build it for the first time and there you can upgrade it to level 26 to get some nice abilities. There are certain abilities for certain ships which are uh, topics for different videos to look at the um, abilities but the ones you get automatically from the armory just of because the level of the armory and uh, that is for level 26 for the Mayflower, the D3 and the Legionary for level 28 for the Saladin, the Bortus and the Centurion, for level 42 for the Kelvin, the Katinga and the Valdor, and for level 53 if the armory is on level 53 it's for Northcutt, Vorcha and Corvus. You see that there is no Enterprise, no um, D4 and uh, no Augur. You can't get them automatically, you have to get them via events or to buy them and the same goes for the level of the Pelum um, and and uh, the Hecta and so on. Um, they don't get it automatically. So the level 46 ships and the level 50 ships don't get it. Um, you have to get them in a different way but not automatically. But those for those four levels you get them automatically here from the armory. And of course, as usual, the bonuses the armory brings itself depend on the level of the armory. You see that it uh, goes up quite high. Let's see, what level do I have at the moment? Yeah, I always forget that I can... No, that's not where I wanted to go to at the moment. So, I'm level 42 and that means that when we look at level 42 with the armory, you get a health bon hull health bonus of 267%, same with the shield health bonus and the mitigation stats bonus. And of course you get power when you upgrade it for some building events. But uh, it is a very nice building and you already saw something <laughs> that I want to show you later. But uh, first I want to tell you to upgrade it. Uh, you need Nadion supplies and uh, it gets more and more when you upgrade it. The good thing is you can go to your gift section and there to building resources and every day you get a certain amount of nadium supply depending on your level. And I got it for today already as you can see so I get my next tomorrow. But that you can collect to um, upgrade your armory. That's why mine is still 42 although it could have been 44 or whatever. Um, but I didn't have enough nadium. And um, the armory also has something you've just seen. It's similar to the ship hangar, but it contains a bit more. There are not only the ship skins and the projectiles and the cloaking, but there are also these ship abilities. That's the one I was talking about. You get for the four level um, classes of the ships for free by upgrading the armory. And those are here. The Northcut, for example, was there in the list for level 53. And the ability increases the weapon damage against hostiles and armadas by 275%. That's the Relentless Assault you also get for... Um, I, I got it for some levels already. Um, the Relentless Assault for the D3, for the Mayflower I have it. For the Valdor, I got it already because um, it's level 42. For the Kelvin, for the Legionary, for the Bortus. Those were the ones um, you get for free. The one for the Gladius, um, I got somewhere else. 
because the gladius was not included there. So um, if you look there again, the gladius, the burrell and the intrepid are not included here as much as not the, the enterprise, the augur and the d4. So I got the gladius one, uh, I think it was an event where I got them. But you also can get them um, not here, but you can get some of those. Um, no, that's not where I wanted to go. Oh, come on. That's always when you want to show something. I just hope it doesn't crash on the Bajoran store again. It often crashes when I open the Bajoran store, but this time it didn't. There are some other abilities like the auto defense for the Antares, the Valkis, and the Cavort. And later for the Hydra, the Vortavor, and the Bajor, you can get via the Bajoran store. And you unlock them once you have the enough shards here in the armory. That's where you unlock those. You see the abilities for um, Antares and uh, so on are here and the Hydra. And for the, it's the same as usual. It's with uh, projectiles and ship skins. You need 60 shards for the uncommon ones. You need 80 for the rare ones. And you need 120 for the epic ones. And uh, that, by the way, That is a beauty I'm looking forward to when I'm getting higher on the service. The the Derry decks, the what well, in the series always was just the, the Romulan Warbird, is the nicest Romulan ship from my point of view. And so that's why I just opened it. But um, the, the Derry decks can also get a lethal force ability. I'm just showing... That means increases critical hit damage against players by 175%. Love that. And it's a nice ship. So, but um, you also have all the ship cloakings here in the armory as well. You have the projectiles here in the armory. And you have the ship skins here as well in the armory. So you can steer everything from, from this one place. You don't always have to switch between armory and uh, the ship hangar which I can't access at the moment anyway because it's upgrading for another 107 days. Um, so I'm not speeding that up. It's not necessary at the moment. But you can do everything on on the armory anyway. And uh, the Nadian supplier showed you the abilities. I'm not going into detail with all the different abilities. You know on the um, ship skins, on projectiles and so on i will in time make single videos as well on on the ones um, this week there will also be a video on the enterprise refit which is a ship skin i already did one when it came out on the voyager armored refit and so i will go through all of those one by one as well um, to show you what they do and, and so that you don't always have to watch a long video where I do them all one by one in one video that would be far too long for a video. So I will just inject some, some very short videos in between on those so you can get a glimpse of what they're doing. And if you want to get a glimpse on anything else right now, the next video is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.